hello and welcome to my channel channel where we make structural engineering design simple and easy my name is Olo Dukonyedi and I want to welcome you to my channel I want to say very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel we really really appreciate you and those who are yet to sign up please hit that subscribe button hit the like button we want to say a merry christmas and a prosperous new year ahead for every subscriber and those who are just tuning in to our channel this period has really been hectic for us we just have to put up these videos in this time so once again i say i appreciate everyone who has been with us from january to december and now we are getting into another year where we do it better and we do it bigger also to everyone who has been sending very encouraging words and wishing us a merry christmas and a happy new year we say thank you very much very very much so we had um, from a subscriber Lynette in Joker Lynette in Joker you didn't tell us where you are chatting us from but you said thank you Lynette we really appreciate that we we appreciate that a lot we also have another uh, subscriber who name Chusika La Hiruni Chisika Lahiruni. You still didn't tell us where you are commenting from. Please, wherever, whenever you are commenting, please tell us where you are commenting from. If you are in Nigeria, please tell us the state. But if you are outside Nigeria, if you are in Ghana, in Tanzania, wherever you are, please tell us the, the country you are commenting from. So we appreciate you, Chisika. Lahi Rooney, you said thank you very much for uploading. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I appreciate you for that encouraging words. We really appreciate that. We have um, um, another subscriber, Abid Omeri. Abid Omeri, you said great work, Engineer Olodu, Engineer Ali Abid from Tanzania. I appreciate you very, very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Uh, also, Juhari Actype, you said, Well done, Guru. You have made our engineering life easy god bless you thank you again guru i appreciate you johari archetype i appreciate that thank you very much these are the reasons why we keep putting up um, all these trainings and teaching i appreciate i appreciate all that now we have another subscriber who's name Amadi Dominic Amadi Dominic you didn't tell us where you are commenting from you didn't tell us please you can reply and tell us where you are commenting from you said can multiple flaws be imported in protest structure that is when designing the floor when designing and the flaws are not the same Amadi will, will be answering your questions, your question today through this video. But please tell us where you are commenting from. Please tell us where you are commenting from. Can multiple flaws be imported in protest structure? That is when designing the when designing and the flaws are not the same. So your question will be answered through this video now 
if you look carefully if you look carefully we have this is our ground floor this is our first floor and this is our paint floor if you look at it very well they are all they are they are not similar they are not similar so what we we'll do is you can't export all these different um, all these different floor layer to Prota. What you do is you arrange your column position and you export only your first floor. Please pay attention. Please pay attention. If you have, let's say, 100 floors, you arrange them in such a way that your first floor will be what you import. Your first floor. But pay attention, there's a trick to importing it. So if you look at this, if you look at this, this is grid C, grid B. This is it on the ground floor. But on grid, if you see the first floor now, this has changed. This position have changed. Then, what you need to do is to make sure you arrange your column position. Pay attention to that. Make sure you arrange your column position from your your ground floor to the last floor when you've understood how your column positions will be from each floor then you can export the first floor you can export the first floor and arrange them the way it's going now if you look at this what i've done i've already done the arrangement this c1 where you see c1 if you superimpose it on this next floor you get to see c1 here you see c1 so meaning c1 went all through from ground to the last floor please pay attention from ground to the last floor so anywhere on this first your ground level now where you see c1 i've arranged c1 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 anywhere you see c1 and we superimpose if we want to superimpose if you copy this and we 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 select we come to as is one b when we click here you you come back to as is one b and you superimpose it when when you superimpose it this is where the c1 will be so the c1 went all through now the second one is c2 c2 if you superimpose it you see c2 at the first floor but at the paint it terminates at that floor it didn't go above beyond the the paint floor but c1 went all through to the roof so you arrange your column position with the arrangement now we've gotten c2 if you look at c3 if you look at c3 if you look at c3 c3 uh, this is c2 where is c3 okay if you look at c3 c3 move if you move this to here you see c3 we protrude at the floor are the rooms so you terminate it below that slab so c3 is not continuing above the first floor so if we have this if we have something like this our c3 terminates here just from ground and it terminates here but our c2 moves from first your your first floor and it terminates here terminates here or where 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 there's an opening there's no column going up but our c1 went all through from here to here 
then we have c4 c4 started from the started from the first floor so our c4 will be from here up and there's another one our c5 our c5 started from this floor up so if you understand this column position if you understand your column position the trick about this is arranging your column position so once you've you've achieved your column position then you can arrange the beam how you want it so if we look at this we've been able to arrange our beams we've been able to arrange the way our beams are the c4 that is starting at first floor there's a beam that runs out that is cantilevered out that the c4 is starting from then then c5 there's a beam at the first floor level that the c5 is starting from so if you understand that you can easily arrange your layer so if we've if we've done that let's assume this is our first floor now our first floor we've arranged everything how we want it how do you export you select this only please pay attention you select this only only then then you press w w w which is w and you press enter it will bring out this then you now said let's say multiple floors or whatever name you want to you want to save it with multiple floors let's say that and uh, we are saving it at the desktop so if you click on it if you click on it it will give you the desktop so if you see it now what we've done we've separated just this floor instead of we deleting instead of we deleting all this if you delete you may leave one or two um lines or element that you are not aware of that you are not aware of then what we did by typing w we move just that floor that we want to export out that we want to es uh, export out so you see it it is on its own it is on its own then you can save it as a dw dsf file you can save it as a dsf file so once you save it as a dsf file you say save automatically is a dsf file so if you now open if you open your your proto structure you can export it you can export so if you done that you see that we have exported it so from here after please check i'm not uh, i skip some step please check our other other videos where we have um, where i explain how to export from the scratch uh, i'm just only showing you how to export multiple multiple <coughs> how to export multiple floors so this is how you can export then you follow the sequence this is how you export your drawings this is how you export it and go ahead with it so if check the other other flaws or other of our 
other of our videos how we generate the different flaws we are not going to explain that in this video please check it and let us know and still if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and still we see you next time remain blessed thanks